Hi everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way, and welcome to this week's project. So this week we're gonna do a really fun little picket fence, and you can see it's sitting by the water. Uh, really, really easy to do. It looks complicated as always, but it really isn't. This is a super easy project, and it only takes a few stamps. Okay, so what we're gonna need is uh, something from our foliage set. So we're gonna use the little vine and both sizes of the grass in the foliage set. We're gonna use the little filler flower in the flower set. And then in addition, this little um, circle of leaves, actually leaves, but we're gonna use it as florals for this project. Okay, so just five stamps and that's all we need. In addition, we are going to use the Molotow mask pen. I really, I'm just such a big fan of this. I love how easy it is to use. And even for people who uh, would say they're not artists, you can do some amazing things with this. So what this does is just protect your white areas. So we're gonna start off and you can see we've got this little picket fence in here. That's from the Molotow um, mask pen. And so what that does is when we, when we brush this on, we're gonna protect this white area and we're gonna be able to see the fence after we finish stamping. So the first thing we're going to do is just make some um, to make some boards. Now this is not this is not scary. It's just making lines. So we're going to make about six of them. And this little uh, mouse pen works just like a pen. So you can just kind of brush this on. Just I I would say these are probably about an inch and a half long, but you can make it as long as you want. And if if you find the masking fluid isn't coming out quite fast enough, just pump that pin a little bit. And just keep brushing this on. You can see that's getting a little darker now. So, and you can add a little interest. Don't make them all straight. And then come over underneath here and now you're gonna add the little fencing underneath. Okay, you could have one just maybe coming down like this if you want to or um, maybe a couple of them over on this side. And the thing about this is if you're not happy with it, you can just rub it off, see, just like this, and do it again. So it's really not stressful at all. Uh, make sure that there's no uh, watercolor paper showing through, so make sure your lines are really dark and heavy because if, if there's any um, white showing through, that's gonna, the ink is gonna show right there. So we wanna protect all these areas. Okay, so we've got our fence drawn in. So I'm gonna come back in about uh, five minutes and we'll continue on. Okay, welcome back. And our masking fluid is completely dry, so we're ready to start stamping over the top now. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with the, with the uh, foliage. This is the vine from the foliage set. And we're just gonna start out by inking some of this. I'm just gonna ink it again now and then stamp a little bit more on the top of the fence. Just get a little bit more in here like this. Okay, so now we're gonna add some water. We're gonna dip our brush in water and just soften these lines. We can always add some more green to it later. So just dab, remember when you're adding water to these, you're just dabbing at these lines. So we're just softening the lines that we just stamped. Just like so. Don't be afraid to go outside of the lines a little bit. And when you're adding this color, make sure that right where these lines are, where these masking lines are, there's a lot of color all around that. We'll do a little bit more of that later. Okay, so now we're gonna add some flowers. This is the little filler flower. And we're just gonna use a couple of these. So we don't need this whole image. So I'm just inking about two. This is uh, pretty small blooms in here. And remember, we're walking it in a circle. So one, two, three, four, five. And we can just put as much of this on here as we want. A little bit more at the top. And just be sure to get enough color in here. We want that fence to really stick out when we take that masking fluid off, we really wanna see that white fence. So we wanna make sure that there's enough color all around. Okay, same with this. We're just dabbing at this color, just softening the lines. It's just stamping and adding water. Okay. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's add a little water in here now. We're gonna do that from our palette. So this is just an acrylic palette and I'm gonna take some of uh, Prussian number 29 and just add a little bit to my palette. And that's just using the marker. And I'm gonna add some water to it. And I'm just gonna brush in the water behind here. Just straight strokes. And you're, you're kind of brushing it in right in the middle of the fence. So not clear down to the bottom and not clear up to the top. Just like this. Okay, so let's add some grasses now. So we're gonna use the large grass. And this is from the, uh, the foliage set. And I'm just gonna change greens here. So this is a number 72. I used a number 15 to start, but I'm just gonna change the green. And remember, this is also stamped in a repeat. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're actually stamping it just a little below the fence. So ink it, and you wanna stamp it a bunch of times. If you can get it in there more than five, that's even better. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the small grass. Same color. And we're just gonna put it in at the top of this little pond. Okay, dip your brush in water and just pinch it off now. We're gonna pull this color up and out. Remember, this is the only time you're really using a brush stroke is when you're doing the grass. And you're brushing that color up and out. Same with the little grass in the back here. Remember, we wanna get a lot of color around this fence. So we wanna make sure all of these um, fence posts are surrounded by color, so they really pop out. Let's add just a little darker color here in the back. Okay, let's go on to the next step, and that is to add some flowers into the foreground. And this is that little circle of leaves. I call it just a, um, I call it a little circle of hearts, really, because I wanna make sure that you, you put it on the block right side up. So when it's on the block, if you can see that, the hearts should be facing up. So they should look like a little circle, a little wreath of hearts, and that is the right side up. It's really important to do that. So let's change color here. So this is the number 29. This is that same Prussian blue that we brushed into the water. And we're just gonna stamp this in a bunch of times too. It's not necessarily to go in a circle with this. You're just kind of um, walking it up and down. Just like that. And then ink the top, just the top. And we're just gonna put a few in the background. Okay, so we're gonna dip our brush now and just dab at this. We're getting lots of color now around these fence posts and that's what we want. Same in here, just dab. We don't wanna lose the integrity of the image, we just wanna soften the lines. Okay, we've got a couple of posts that are kind of standing alone here. We want to make sure we're surrounding those with colors. So let's just add a little of this blue now and put it into the background as the sky. Just gonna brush a little of this color in here so we can really see those posts. And otherwise, it looks pretty good. It looks like we've got these all pretty well surrounded with color. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. Let's make sure that that's really dry before we, uh, we actually take that masking fluid off. And in the meantime, let's just add a little more color into the flowers. I do this a lot. So take a little uh, color from your palette and just dip your brush in water. And just take a little of this color and just dab in a few little centers here. You can add just a few more little areas of color Okay, just like so. That looks pretty good. I think we're ready to take this masking fluid off. So you just do that with your finger, just rub it off just like this. And you can see the little fence is starting to emerge here. 
So we don't want the, the fence to look flat, and it just looks like a white image here. So we're gonna, we're gonna add a little color. Never wanna leave anything that's white uncolored. So we're just gonna take a little of the number 86, and I just put a little bit of that, that on my palette. I'm just gonna take a little of this color and make a line on the side of each one of these little fence posts. So, so we're gonna add a little more of this on all of these posts, just a little of this blue along the side. And that's gonna make these posts look more three-dimensional. So we're kind of just putting a shadow in. Just drag that color all the way along and then along the bottom get all these posts along the bottom and you can see how that's kind of popping this fence up and making it look more three-dimensional. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's just add a few little uh, areas of foliage so it looks like the leaves are kind of growing over the fence. So we can just put a little bit more of this in. So it kind of looks like the flowers and the foliage is kind of coming through a little bit. Add a little water to that. Just like so. We can add a few more of these little flowers that are along the front. Let's just put a few of these across the posts. And that will also make it look a little more three-dimensional. And that looks pretty good. Our little watercolor finish uh, project is about finished. And we have already dated and signed. So we finished that. All we need to do is mount it on a card, sign it, mount it on a card, and give it away to someone that you love and they will absolutely love it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.